gonna know why I'm doing this. Uh, okay. <laughs> He's gonna know why I'm doing this. Oh, we doing characters now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I know. Um, I definitely want you in character. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh no, we're gonna talk about Booker. Aren't we? <laughs> not that. Yo, 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 y'all know what time it is, man. Don't watch me watch Dynamite TV, Guru Dynamite in the building. And you are now tuned in to the Big Propaganda Wrestling Podcast, Tag Team Champs Podcast. And I have my boy filling in for the one and only, the Beige Bomber, the Petty Messiah, your boy Corey Jarrett. Kung Fu Eddie, baby. Ooh, this is Kung Fu Eddie, baby. Representing the Big Propaganda Wrestling Podcast and talking to Kung Fu Eddie, baby. B. And yes, we are playing the uh, what's the free bird rules? The free we bird are, rules. We are rotating. I am the current champ of the tag team <laughs> pod, and right now we have a very special guest. Very special guest, but I have to do this right uh, <laughs> since our interview kind of went a little sideways last time. I am. He I am is <laughs> the current two-time. Reality of Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, the greatest Reality of Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Ed Stone. That, that was beautiful. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You kind of nice. got on me for the last time, nice. so I had to read yeah. right there. I got and look, nothing but compliments. Nothing but compliments. Exactly. It was a little flat, but nothing but compliments. We got, we got to go to vocal school. That's okay. Definitely got to go to vocal school. <laughs> no, man. Thank you guys for having me. No, guys, thank you for coming. It's great to be here, man. This is awesome. I always love being here. It's great to be back, so. Man, so big week coming up. Big week coming up. Summer of Champions. You will be defending your heavyweight championship against Gaspar Hernandez, and the special guest referee will be Abel Andrew Jackson. How do you feel about this whole dynamic in this scenario. You know, on one hand, I feel a little played. <laughs> <laughs> like, real, 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 real talk. Feel a, little, feel a little played. On the other hand, you can't call yourself the greatest if you ain't willing to go through mm. whatever they put in front of you. Mm. So. They had obstacles I, against you, but once you go over these obstacles, what they can say? Nothing. Exactly. It's, it's zip, up, zip on the mouth. It's just quiet. Just so proving, that's exactly proving your point how great you are. Exactly what's going to happen this upcoming weekend. Dude. It's going to be a good show. But I tell you right now, me and Gaspar have history. We have a long line of just being in each other's way. So I've honestly just been looking forward to this. This is going to be one hell of a fight. This is going to be giant versus giant, athlete versus athlete, however you want to place it. This is going to be show of the night. Mm, calling it show of the night. Um... One thing I wanted to get to, I wanted to get to a clip. We're going to start off today with a clip because normally I don't do this, but hey, man, Marcus, roll that clip for me, man. Oh. Mm. So this is how we got here. This is how we got to Ed Stone being the reality of wrestling heavyweight champion. Previously, throughout the night, he had won a ladder match to get the contract spot. And now this is showing him cashing in. And the rest is history. Now this, now this wasn't the surprising part of this whole thing. The surprising part of this thing, because I expected you to talk a little trash to do it. I expected that. But this is where things got a little different for me, and I was like, what's going on? What's going on? And as we see this going forward now. The smile. It's the smile. The embrace. And we are here. <laughs> so my thing is, and this is what I'm going, this is what I'm going to jump into by accident is, was that planned the whole time? Was it planned the whole time? Mm. Well, I mean, it, it goes without saying, it was pretty much, you knew I was going to win a ladder match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, come on, it's a contract. And I don't know if you recall, the last time I was here, I had recently lost that title. Mm -hmm. And didn't I say I was going to get it back? Definitely said you were going to get it back. So it was, it was on record, too. Opportunity presents itself. 
I saw said opportunity. Hey, hey, hey. I capitalized on said opportunity. I mean, I think I'm just going with what was set in front of me. Hey, I have no arguments on that. Hey, Never. look, everybody does it. Hey, look, you get a contract, you cash that mug in whenever you feel like or whoever you feel like. Exactly. So I mean, it worked out, didn't it? Look at that. Hey. Look at that. That's true. Look at that beauty. Look at that. Look at that hey, beauty. don't touch Come it. Make sure you don't touch beauty. it. Come on. I'm not touching it. Yeah, man. Mm. I'll kill you. It's so prestigious. I know you will. That's why I don't. I'll kill you both. That's that's why I'm not doing it uh, this time. Uh, you know, we are in third <laughs> war, so. <laughs> Shout out to third war. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, with this whole transaction and everything, you have also embarked on a new partnership as well and i want to roll another clip of that uh footage for this new alliance that i seen you recently struck in the past few weeks man you have just been torturing this man i'm not gonna lie to you like (laughs) the beats are just (laughs) are just here but i did notice one thing you came in and you inserted yourself, showing your dominance because you have to at this point. I like that. Can we just, <laughs> just talk about how great the abs look. Thank you. Thank you. I work hard. I'm a kinesiologist. I will appreciate you. Respect on you. I'm trying to get this man's face. <laughs> I see that. So again, yeah. The pose is everything. I'm not going to lie. That pose is everything. <laughs> he's, he's a stallion. Like, <laughs> like, he just does this. Like, it's just incredible. Um, So the real thing, the, the real thing on uh, what's been going on has been, did Edge Stone sell out? Mm. The fan, and I have to the, ask you this because this is the fan thing. The common oh, phrase of every God. wrestling. Like it, always comes, <laughs> it always comes to selling out. I mean... Look, I won a t- I won a contract fair and square. Facts. I cashed in said title. Facts. Square. And in other words, I bought into myself. I cashed it in, and now I'm a champion. Facts. How is that selling out? No fake news just, over here. Just like just because me and Booker are cool now, I sold out. Just because me, me and him found common ground. Mm-hmm. Comedy. And see the future of reality of wrestling in myself. So mm. now that means I sold out. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, usually a sellout just just walks past, walks on anybody who's ever even passed ways. If I was a sellout, would I be here? Mm. God dang it, he has a point, man. I can't even, I can't even deny that. That's a great... That's the first time anybody ever said that. I could have been a lawyer in a past life. You don't know this. You could still be a lawyer. Look at me. You'll be the <laughs> scariest lawyer ever. Oh, man. You don't want me in a courtroom. <laughs> I'll, just be, I'll just be on objection for no reason. He's like, objection! He's like, for what reason? I don't like what he said. He was it'll, mean. It'll be you and Matt Burdock. I, 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 I don't think anybody would, would you know, counter that anyway. So, <laughs> she'd be like, you know what? You got it, brother. You got it. Um, another thing I wanted to point out, uh, because when he was here last time with you and get into that, so your boy is back in reality of wrestling. How do you feel about that, Jay Alexander? Big Jay Alexander, man. I look, I'm glad he's back. He look, he had a grown he had a growing career with us before before he left, and it's only continued after, after now that he's back. So I'm really excited. He's got a match against uh Fatu on this upcoming weekend. I'm excited to see that match my damn self. Mm. Am I going to be worried about it as far as my title goes? No. 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 But him being back, I think, lights a fire under under a lot of people, including myself, so it's only going to make reality of wrestling better. Hmm. Okay, okay. And speaking of that, your fire, you uh, you uh, were the uh, – the RCW tag team champ. Hey, you was a lot. You were tag. You guys were running through everywhere so as overkill. Overkill, overkill man. Uh, <laughs> bell collectors overkill. over here. Like literally, it's all in the name. Overkill. It's just you put us on title. You put us on on notice for a title. We want to be there. So I do want to go into with the uh, last match that you had 
Um, <laughs> didn't go as a I'm going to stop saying. Yeah, it didn't go as according to plan, uh, as usual. <laughs> but the, the, inter, the interview and the, re, the interaction after what struck my, uh, struck my eye on it, as far as, like, how you felt about it. You were pretty pissed. You were pretty pissed. Uh, for the last interaction after? The RCW. Uh, oh, yeah, no. Uh, like, dude, we we just had our titles, and then we and then we ended up fighting the Von Erichs for, for it back, and we should have won that anyway. But it's just when you taste that gold, when you get that title in your hands, you don't want anything else. We had that; it was taken from us unjustly. We were never pinned to lose those titles, and then they made their way to the Von Erichs. And then don't even get me started on all that stuff. So for us, it's at RCW. We ain't going nowhere until we get those titles back. And mm. we're going to strut them everywhere. I don't know if you even Wait saw it. if you saw that, but we had a nice little, nice little get up for that, for that arrival, Man, for that party. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. I saw it. I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> and energy's all through it. Energy's all through it. A little overkill. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> it was a little, little play on words. It was a little overkill, and you know what? They liked it. You hate us because you love us. Hey man, say hello to the bad guy. Everybody hey. loves a bad guy, man. Everybody loves a bad guy, the bad boy. But speaking <laughs> of your bad guy mentality, we also have another clip because you were in a match with a Mister Aura Mensa, and I did want to get to the ending of that. Oh come on! I got to man. Roll that footage, Marcus. These are just details. These minor, minor detail, minor, minor detail, minor detail. Come on. I don't know, champ. Was that, was that even legal? I feel like that wasn't even really like a legal thing. Hey, he him for a tribute. And these are the new business associates. So, nature boy. Yeah. Okay. So now we have confirmed. They're his nature boys. I'm not gonna lie to you, I love, I love those guys. They're cool, cool. They were so fun uh, to be around and so interactive as well. Uh, you know, you know, my tag team partner actually filmed the time Nature Boy and got it over. And over and <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, it's the craziest thing ever. We were sitting there, and all you hear is Corey, Nature Girls. And I, I'm talking about everybody just started saying. You know, I shouldn't even, I shouldn't even be laughing about that. Those are my guys now, man. Like. Shame on you. I look, bro, I'm, just, I'm just telling you Those the story. Those are my nature boys, man. Shame on you, Core. Oh, yeah, Those Corey. are my guys. Shame. Those are my guys. Those are my guys. Johnny Dunn, those are my guys, man. Me and Johnny go way back, actually. Me and him, start. Uh, he, he started out, he actually started wrestling six months before I did, training back in New Orleans. So how did that, so how did this partnership come about? Man, they, they approached me at one point backstage, well, not really. Uh, yeah, they approached me backstage, and me and Johnny got to talking, talking about just the history we've been through. And it's like he said, basically, he's like, if I need to be of service, just let me know. And I was like, you know what? Known you for nine years now. Like, I trust it. No one, no one sees him coming. No mm. one sees him coming. I definitely see him coming. So, yeah, no, no, you're right. Yeah. You're definitely right. Best surprise is a good surprise. Yeah, like a cash Surprise, in. surprise. <laughs> like a cash surprise, in. Surprise. Oh, God. Oh, the world, the world oh, of I am a meme city. The world of memes. It's like, it just, it's a, and this is probably the funniest thing is like how silly and goofy that I can be. <laughs> and it's like, I can still see when somebody looks at me and it's like, I can't tell if you still might snap or not. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm still trading water. And, and, I'm, a, and I'm a lifeguard. So oh, come I on. am. <laughs> He's very intimidating. He's very I mean, intimidating. A stallion, man. He's very intimidating. I'm not lying to you. I mean, if I, I looked like that in my dreams, in my dreams, dreams, <laughs> like one day, cross one fingers. Day. Oh, this is not even a final four in a row. I got, I'm, I'm not even his final grow. four. He I'm said he'll grow. go Super Saiyan 2. I'm going to grow. <laughs> I look, hey, like we even talked about, have you seen my tag partner? Have you seen how wide he is? Have you seen a. a Dude, I've a, seen him train. Exactly. So, how am I going <laughs> to be tagging with a guy like this? And not reach another form that's just got to be bigger, that's got to be stronger, that's got to be even more jacked. And it's like, come on, you can't have, like, that's the best part, is a good, healthy competition between teammates that just want to be their best selves. That's why we, that's why we work well. 
He's like, Jay wants to be the best Jay. I want to be the best Stone. And we and then either one of us is just gonna be like, we gonna we gonna get to the top. You know the sad part about this, not telling this all the time. Mm. They do flips. What the <laughs> hell, dude? Like, what's just, wrong with flips? You just see two big guys. You be like, man. And then you what's just see them. With, I saw Jay do something in. Saying it, RC. <laughs> Jumping up. Yeah. Jump yeah. off. Yeah. Jump off. You didn't know. You didn't know. Jay, Jay, Jay Paul Superman, dude. I was just like, Yeah, the only, the only time I remember someone seeing that is uh, uh, from CMML, from uh, Marcus Colleone. Dude. Uh, Mark Jindrak. There you go. These guys. Like, he's, like, he's the only one I could think about that uh, that does those moves. Dude, like, probably the greatest thing about that day was he even told me, like, he even told me earlier that day, he's like, I really... I really want to do something. I really want to dive. Up. He's like, I really, I really want to jump. I'm like, okay, cool, dope, awesome. He's like, yeah, yeah. You, he's like, he's like, you're always flipping and doing these flippy things and doing all this. I'm like, it's not, not wrong. <laughs> it's not wrong. I was like, all right, let's get it. And then next thing I know, I see him jumping off, jumping off over the bar- over the barricade, just flying. Like I don't know, I don't even know if he did the pose, but I wish he, I, I, I really hope he did. Doing the full Superman pose, man. You can't do a jump like that and not do a full Superman pose in the air. Like, that was insane. It didn't even hit me, but I was just like, this crazy mother... Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. <laughs> overkill. With, that, I, that. The true <laughs> definition of over... That's overkill. How... You, you know you what are, it is. You're, you're not wrong, but you're not right. <laughs> You're not wrong, but you're not right. Because, I mean, I don't even think that's really overkill. Opportunity presents itself. You take said opportunity. It's called evolution. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The champ's going to buy you a meal after this, buddy. (laughs) No, I'm buying this man a meal. Korean barbecue. On me. (laughs) My guy. My guy. Come on, now. Come on. Can, can, hey, you know what? He's about to take your seat. That's crazy. That is insane <laughs> behavior. Oh, my God. <laughs> but I do want to continue talking about your athleticism. Yeah, like, exactly. how? when was the moment that you noticed that, like, dude, I could do this? And the more you start testing your athleticism, like, when is the point that you're like, mm, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to do it? Dude, honestly, how you exactly phrased that question is exactly the process that it went through. Mm-hmm. I uh, I played football in college uh, decently. Ain't going to embellish or, or, <laughs> or blow myself up. Decently played fo- uh, football in college. And as soon as I was done, I got into wrestling. And I was just like, always told, like, you know, be the big guy. Be the yeah. big guy. I was 260 60 pounds back then. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was like real just just real solid up up top. And they just tell us like just run through people, just knock people down, just pick them up, throw yeah. them up. It's like dude, I've always been an athlete. I've always loved uh doing actual tricks and stuff like that. Did gymnastics when I was a kid. There was a whole Yo, was, that is <laughs> seriously. That is one thing that like I learned from like John Claude Van Damme cuz he's my inspiration when it comes to martial arts. Yeah. When I found out that he took ballet and it's the reason why I was like I should just Go back in time and tell my parents, put me in gymnastics, put me in ballet. Dude, I don't care how corny it, it is work, because the moment I go to middle school and martial arts, I will be doing 360 uh, flip kicks. Dude, you just, you learn from every, everything, everything in life. So it's like, dude, I have a, I have a brief stint in boxing. So my mm-hmm. footwork has been improved. I have mm-hmm. a brief stint in Kung, in Kung Fu. So nice. a little bit of my, a little bit of my style can be quick, can be a little, and can be a little bit out of nowhere to where it's, it works for me. And then I also have a little bit of Muay Thai. Very, nice. very short stint. So Same. it's like I don't even use Muay Thai really in in my wrestling. But it's like oh, every every once in a while I want to. but uh, And I want to get back into it, so I will be doing it. Oh, you need, I'm trying yeah. to go back to uh, uh, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, uh, especially when Dude, I... Jiu-Jitsu is fantastic. <laughs> once I pay off this college debt, you know. <laughs> and, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah, because uh, every single time I get in it, like I lose, if I get... If I stay in it with three months, I lose ten pounds yeah. just because yeah. I'm over there in the mat just rolling. It's just great, dude. It's just great cardio, it just, and it's great. It's just great cardiovascular training with everything that you do. It's mm-hmm. great for building a uh, building solid, long lasting yep. muscle. Like that's one of the things I miss most about it is just is just being able to train for that long period of time. Uh, but it's like even after that, like we were talking, like you were asking, mm-hmm. you were talking about when I first got into the ring. I started like thinking about a lot of things I used to do in gymnastics mm-hmm. when I was like six, seven years old. 
And then uh, and then I was like, every once in a while, I was like, let's just give it a shot. Let's just see what we can do. Yeah. At one at one point, I was able to actually do a full front flip and land on my feet in the ring. Uh, nice. And I was like, just do a front a uh, front flip versus like run out of the corner, do a front flip, and do that. It's like it's one of the ways the uh, the Atlas Stone, my finisher, came about doing the running block. Buster. Yeah, it's a beautiful yeah. finisher. Thank you. <laughs> uh, no, I love I love being able to combine my athleticism with something that looks really dope. Uh, it's like I was into parkour before; it was really a big thing, mm-hmm. and it's like, and even afterwards, I enjoy trying new things. Yeah, but one thing I don't do is go to the top rope. But if anything, <laughs> if anything else, anything else, I'll jump high enough to be on the top rope. And I was I'll, just thinking about that. I was like, you, I think you could jump from point A, point a to like, point B. Dude, I would, I would say without without wrestling, I would have never even known how athletic I can be. Uh-huh. I would have, you would have, if you would have told me ten years ago before I started wrestling, because I'm at nine years now. If you had told me that I could do backflips and front flips, I would have told you, okay, I haven't done that since. Since way back when, that's not happening again. And now it's like now I'm trying to figure out ways to do corkscrews. I'm trying to figure out ways to do different types yeah. of flips. Uh, my my dive is a freaking sent on over the front where I've actually <laughs> landed on my feet. Uh, we just talked about RCW doing a uh, what was it? It was a front flip 180, doing a twisting mm-hmm. front flip on. The, on See, the I gotta really think about what yeah. you're saying. <laughs> yeah, literally just off the ring doing a twisting <laughs> a twisting front flip on, on that is somebody. Crazy. Just, it's like I always. Most of the time, that's just the athlete in me just wanting to take it to a different level. Uh, like, if it's something that I think I've done before, uh-huh. I, I'm pretty sure I can do it. If it's something I haven't done before, I'll practice it and see where it goes. I was uh, just talking about this with my wife, uh, like, last week. And I was talking to her about wanting to do, basically, in skating, it's called, like, a triple axle or something yeah. like that. Mm. I'm like... Is there a way I can make that a splash? <laughs> and I started working on it, like real talk, like out of the corner, fucking did the whole motion for everything, twisting, like just corkscrewing, and it's like I could never I get think about it. I could never get my placement. Uh huh. Like like I wouldn't know where to tell the guy to go. Mm-hmm. Or like stay right here. I wouldn't be able. To, I wouldn't. Need, I wouldn't be able to tell. It, like place it perfectly for it. So I put that in in the bag for for. Maybe later, or just maybe not. At all. Maybe maybe like a, you like, know a summer champion. Every season. once in a while, no, every once in a while, I get a little itch. I'm like, let's just see how it would look now. <laughs> yeah, let's just see how it would look now. I mean, you did have that viral moment. Like, can we just appreciate that one more time? Even though how long ago was that? The barricade jump. The barricade jump. Oh was crazy. God. I mean, everybody um, was like, "Yo, this is this this is the real security WWE needs to really like, have." No one, even, no one even like it was funny as hell because I got right up out of there after that. And it was like. Like, I was like, I'm not about to get you on that. And then they posted it. I was like, oh, damn. <laughs> uh, no, dude, I, I, I love that. Uh, that was a huge moment for me in my career and just as an athlete in general. Uh, and then to have to have to find out, like, whenever, like, WWE sends out scouts, they talk about me for it. Nice. It's like it's like we want extras like that. It's like don't take a moment, but make but make a moment if if if, 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 if that's a lot. If there's an opportunity, yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm just like the fact that it did kind of it did bid it did build my status a little bit. Mm-hmm. At the same time, it's still not really recognized. Yeah, and that's the weird thing about pro wrestling because it's like like that is the most amazing thing you've yeah. ever done. Yeah. Oh my god, I screwed myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, dude, for for real, like it, it really is. Like I really, one of the things that kind of frustrated more than anything is that there was no tag, there was no promote. Yeah. Of that, that that was me. Mm-hmm. I had to send it. I had to send it to every <laughs> to everybody. I was like everybody because everybody started posting. Who is this dude? I was like, it's me. And I then they see the uh, yeah, but it's like, and then they see the back of my head. They're like, that is him. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's like, and, but um, more than anything else, like the more traction I could have gotten if there was a. If there was a tag, if there was a post or something mm-hmm. like that, I really wish that that was something that they did, and they and they don't do that. Uh, so it's like it was bittersweet, but it was better. It was definitely more sweet than bitter. Yeah, but there was a little bitterness in there, in there, for uh, for me a little bit. Again, something that. I will never understand, but I get the point. You know, you, th- that's probably the most upsetting part about it. Yeah, is the fact that you get it, mm-hmm. and it's still the way it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is like you're like, no, I understand. <laughs> on a positive note <laughs> <laughs> no so I think the, the crazy part about that jump was I was like dude did he just 
That's stone. Like I literally said, that's stone. Oh, we. So oh. I, because I already knew yeah. who it was. He seen me jump to the top rope from like in a match. Like, yeah, literally so jump I on top of the top rope. So I was like, I was like, oh, like for people who have seen me wrestle and seen me do that, they're gonna know my jumping style of yeah. that. They're like, why does that look familiar? And it's like he hit me up not too long after. It's like, <laughs> bro, really? He's <laughs> <laughs> like, you had to jump a whole barricade. <laughs> you could have just grabbed the barricade. He's like, you just had to jump a, a, like, jump a wall. <laughs> I was like, couldn't just do a regular, huh? <laughs> I was like, he was trying to catch that. You see, so that's you know, how viral it is because I don't even know who he was chasing. So you know, Dexter Loomis. Yeah. So thank you. <laughs> so what was crazy um, with that too is Triple H came out with a statement about how security guards make the best talent at the end of the day. Oh yes. So I mean, you never know. Now it might you might that might have played in your we got, favor. Like you maybe, guys, Sheamus, Cesaro, how long was that two years ago. Look how long Sheamus and Cesaro took to kick in. That's true. Yeah. You got to think about it like that too. Wade Barrett got beat up dude, by I DX. Will tell you, like we talked about this the last time on, dude. Impatience is real big in this. Oh, it's like man. you, like mm-hmm. you, you can have, you can be the most patient person. This fucking this career will make you impatient. It mm-hmm. will make you tireless. It'll be like when, when. When? Trust me, I felt the so, same way when I was getting my master's degree. <laughs> Wait, hold on. It's true, though, dude. That's a lot of schooling. You might know That's this better than me. That's a lot of schooling. You might know this better than me. When Sean, when did Sean Spears get super kicked by uh, Shawn Michaels? What year uh, was Christian, that? Christian DX. That's all I remember. It was Christian DX. That was about around... 09, 010. Yeah. Look when he broke. Look when he broke. Look, 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 look if you're going to answer, answer my stuff with, like, like good logical answers and good evidence, I might as well get on out of here because it's like, how am I gonna be upset or annoyed if you just gonna spit facts? <laughs> like he's gonna do the Batista. Oh, like I'm just gonna be like, you know what? I'm just gonna just gonna me mug into the mic. Like, all right, right well, ask you next question. All right, all right. <laughs> he's well, gonna do like the like the dog from the this system. Gonna, boop, 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 boop. This might make you me mug. Then I'm not gonna lie to you. This next. Uh, Marcus, roll this next oh, we got, clip. Because oh, we got clips. I, I we really, got more clips. No, 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 because you said you wrongfully got robbed out of your title the last time you had it. So, Marcus, I need you to play that video for me. Three. Wait a minute. First of all, first of all, this is still a cage match. This is still a cage match. Why not put that bit on the rope and, 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 and cause the steel cage match? That's all I want to know. I never liked him anyway. Yeah, I, I'm just going to be real. Yeah, he'll, yeah, he'll always try to catch Eddie. I, mean, I don't understand. So you had a point. Edge Stone, I had to go don't back and look up, and I was like, Patrick, he knows what he's doing. It was two. Edge right. Stone, you can let you all the frustration right. in you oh, want. Shit. It was two. Edge Stone needs to make sure his emotions don't get the better of him here. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I don't know why we're... Look at this don't suplex. Wait. Wait a second. Wait, what? What? What the hell yeah. just happened? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a prime example of why the good guy turns bad. Seriously, I was literally about to say, you wonder why you wonder why I'm playing by my own rules now. I feel you. You wonder why I'm doing my own I thing f- now. I feel you. I look, six you know, years, dude. I've been at row for six years, and I played by all the rules, all the all the all the all the pleasantries, man. Loyal. I was a good. Hey, I took care of everybody. Anybody who needed help, I helped them. Anybody who wanted more training, anything like that, I helped them. Workouts over time, everything. It's like so. Six years, just want to point that out. Going back to the whole sellout, six years. Six years. And for him selling out, that was the ultimate prize, right there. Wasn't even selling out. No, 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 no. I know. I will sell out too, as long as the the (laughs) check and the belt is there. Oh no, I got a price, ladies and gentlemen. 
If y'all saw my stream yesterday, I was calling out Wingstop to sponsor me, please. <laughs> hey, wait, wait, stop, wait, stop, please. He does have a, he the lemon does, pepper. He does have a price. You right. know what? I'll um, take some lemon pepper too, but I want double what he's getting paid. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Hey, man, it's your world champ. Yeah, whatever you want around here. Uh, no, man, I just, like I said, man, I had to go back and really, like, dive in and look at that. And I was just like, nah, he really got, he really got screwed. So that wasn't even the first time. It wasn't. No. It wasn't. Go back. Go back and literally look through my career. I haven't lost the title straight up. Hmm. Hmm. I'm wow. A two, hey, I'm a two-time television t- uh, champion. Two-time yeah. heavyweight champion. champion. Mm-hmm. Both times I lost my title for the television champion, I was cheated. Straight up, not tell him. Are you gonna I'll give do, him a I'll fair do you shot? One better. I'll do you one better. My first match at Reality of Wrestling got cheated. I got a low <laughs> blow and got cheated. I can't even blame you. I can't even blame you for you know. I can't blame you new attitude. <laughs> Like you I said, I had to look, go. I had to go deep diving. You, look, the one thing I'll say is I'm a nice. I'm a nice guy until you don't make me nice anymore. So all I have to say about that is the fact that you created your own monster. You have brought me to this point. This is why I feel to need to keep my career safe and my mental health uh, safe. So whatever comes out, whatever happens, whoever gets hurt, whoever's house gets burned down. Mm, it ain't on me. It is what you have brought me to. So please respect my mental health. Big Propaganda Wrestling Podcast did not have anything to do with uh, criminal activity. I just want to let you guys know. But we do respect <laughs> mental health. We do respect mental health. <laughs> uh, but no, man, I'm just like, seriously, though, dude, I'm like, I'm like, <laughs> he really got raw. Yeah, Anakin, really this is the Anakin Skywalker turning to Darth Vader. I mean, I'm, I like I'm, that I'm reference. Love it. I I'm love his, that his, reference. His analogies right now, they're making me very strong, and I approve those messages. I bring him out of the closet sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> He's our statistician. Well, <laughs> like, <laughs> respect people that live in the closet, please. Mental health. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, oh man, but no, um. Here's the thing. Yeah. You're going into this match. Yep. My thing is with the whole Gaspar thing, because you know he's going to come out hot. Yeah. You're going to have to weather the early storm, and you do know this. (sighs) You know, the funny thing about being a fellow big guy and knowing where he's at, I think is an advantage for me. Because I know exactly where his head his head is at. I know exactly where his mentality is at. And he has every right to feel that way. But the fact of the matter is that his his wants and needs don't exceed my own for, for myself. Mm. Mm. That's why I did what I did in the first place. Congratulations on winning the title, but there's an opportunity that I have to claim it back after I, did, after I lost it. It's right there. Gradual, I'm sorry that you feel like you got cheated or you got beaten out by somebody, but I wanted that title. Did what I needed to do. Yeah. I got my title back. I'm keeping my title. So he, I know exactly how he's going to come out, and I know exactly how to weather that storm. It's not too different from how you would handle myself because only thing, only thing, crazy thing about it is you have an angry, a angry – Athletic, powerful giant. Just gotta die it down. This man is on a mission. Gotta die it down. And if he really wants to go head to head, it's nothing it's nothing I can't do either. I've gone head to head with some of with some of the, so with some great athletes. I've gone head to head with people bigger than me, stronger than me, quicker than me, it doesn't really matter. He is another opponent. I I'm a champion. Mm. Correction. I am the champion. Mm. I already had this once and I already knew what it meant. Man, target on my back and man, I'm going to have to take on everybody and everyone that really even wants to be a shot at being in the spotlight. So with winning it for a second time, Mm -hmm. does that pressure, uh, uh, how can I put this? Does it, 
does it not feel as much as it was the first time you had it? This time feels better, actually. Because I did it my way. Doing things my way has probably been the best thing I could possibly do. Seriously. Doing, not worrying about how y'all feel about me, not worried about how fans feel about me, not worried about the the perception that everyone that everyone has of me, has literally freed me to do whatever I want to do and go after what I want. Which at the end of the day, is how it should have always been. It's like you can see people at shows now. Yeah, they might boo at they might boo at me, still ogling me. You might boo at me. You still think what I do is pretty impressive. It's like you can hate me all you want. You might not li- might not like my attitude change, but at the same time, you can't help but admire that I'm a pretty damn good athlete and a pretty great wrestler. So, facts is facts. Having that weight off of a uh, weight off of it to make I make myself feel like I need everyone to love it. I need everyone to be happy with what I'm doing. Makes this so much better and so much easier. More clear head. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm not gonna lie to you. Going into that, this actually might play into your advantage because I, a cool, calm, and collective and clear head, you get to just sit back and dissect everything. You're exactly. not in a rush. You're not tense. You're not off off your game in, in any way. That's why I said, weather in the storm. Yeah, that might just be the best. <laughs> the best way to put it. But, you know, again, as a fellow big guy, I know you can appreciate this, mm-hmm. is like you see an opportunity to go up with someone who can match your strength and match your power. You're kind of tempted to just go all out and fight it too. Exactly. Yeah. Like if you, see something that will, if you see someone that will actually challenge your abilities, if you are a real fighter, if you're a real champion, if you're a real scrapper, that's a welcome mat. Mm. That's that's a that's the that's a gateway into a night into an octagon into a ring any however you want to put it. That's an invitation to test yourself. And as a real athlete, part of me cannot resist that. Mm. How can you call yourself the greatest if you can't have any challengers that are equally great? Gotta like pick your, gotta pick your stuff up, bro. He like coming. That. Yeah, he is. You coming? Yeah, he is. I told you why I leave him in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> just be writing, it's, just it's, be writing it's great it's okay. quotes. Yeah, it's okay. Coming great out, quotes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be good. That's gonna be good. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Time, time's up there. I, I, I did it like DJ. I wrote it down in my. Oh, <laughs> oh god, that was one of the, that was one of the funniest moments for me so, to see that. Oh my god, that was great. So the <laughs> special guest referee, because you, I'm not gonna lie to you, your guest referee, the guest referee part. You ain't really had to. You ain't really had a good track record with that. No, I don't, do I? So, no, 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 no. So no. I just I just want because even after that Nick Patrick thing, you also had a match uh with someone else. I can't remember. I can't remember what it is. I gotta look back at it. But you had a match and you almost beat the hell out of the ref that was in that match because I don't know if it was PTSD from, from the Nick Patrick thing or what. But it was like uh. I was like yeah, he might. Yeah, referees might need to stay away from him for a little while, dude. Uh, referees the the one thing standing in between in between me and just losing it completely. I, I guess he said, "I hate the way you count. I hate the way you walk." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've said that to a number of refs. It's like just move out the way and let us fight, or otherwise, just like you know what? How hard is it to count one, two, three? Just in a simple. And a simple melody and a simple rhythm, that's the same. That's the first thing I learned in preschool. It's, 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 seriously. It's like you all learned it as a baby. Woo! <laughs> Get a lollipop. Take it's a like, nap. Man, I just, I, I, a lot of times I just have some bad luck with guest referees. It, it just, it's just all in general. It's like I understand that it is, it is a tough job and you got to make a lot of big decisions in it. But at the same time, you're messing with my career, man. So no, at that at that point, it's just I play nice, but if things go wrong, I don't play nice anymore. And we may have an opening for new reps at Reality of Wrestling. So that is crazy. That is crazy. Oh my god! Mm. I, <laughs> we're gonna see right. some Indeed job opportunities. <laughs> well, well yeah, you know, yeah. if you look look on Indeed, LinkedIn, 
if Job you're stuck if, if you're in, <laughs> glass door if you're in the Texas City area and you want to be a referee oh, hot dog and a handshake <laughs> oh my god the, there was a real time I actually got offered that oh really and, and I really got offered a hot dog and a handshake and I said that, I said this has got to be a joke this was like in the beginning of my career it was one of my first travel shows I think it was somewhere out in uh what was it? Uh, Tennessee. Mm. It was some uh, it was like like I want to say it was like my second year. Like I was in my second year of wrestling, still green as hell. Uh, and I got and I got uh, somebody reached out about a show in Tennessee, and did and I did a small show. And the dude got us out there, and we did. I did a was a triple threat mm-hmm. match. Did the whole thing. Uh, even sold some photos. Yay! And then it's like <laughs> I got to him. He's like so. Uh, what are we doing about payment? Usually it's about, at that time, 80 bucks. Mm. Well, uh, at least gas money. Uh, he's like, he's like, oh, yeah, yeah. If you go right over there to that grill over there, there's uh, they got a hot dog waiting for you. And uh, I really want to say thank you for, for coming out. I was like. <laughs> he said he offered the glizzy. <laughs> yeah, I was like. I was like. You're, you're seriously doing a hot dog and, and a handshake? <laughs> Can't even get a drink? No, you got to like, pay for that drink. Right, hey, that like, diet coke's coming out nah, of your check, bro. Hey, no, I said fuck that. I'm getting, I'm getting at least my gas money, and he gave me fifty bucks, and he gave me fifty bucks for gas money. I was like, I'm never Good. doing this again. But no, I was not leaving without <clears throat> gas money or anything. I'm not about to drive out to Tennessee, which is at least like six to seven hours from from at this time New Orleans. Mm. And I'm like, no, no. No, you you gonna give me some gas money? Yeah. No, I'll I'll take that hot dog. I exactly. Shaking. I was about to say I'm, I'm, like, I'm gonna take a hot dog. I'll and take two. that hot. I'll take that hot dog. Because you know I'm gas hungry. stations are closed. Yeah, Plus Tennessee, I'm, I would have I would have stopped hungry, nowhere. I am not shaking that damn hand. You were going to. Hey, you want me to shake that hand? You better put a fifty in it and, we, and, and yeah. slide it in my hand. It's like and, I, and that was like, no, but we getting money. Exactly. We, we're getting money. I don't need a lot of money. I need gas money. Mm. And uh, he's like, he's like, you, you gotta calm down. I was like, don't tell me to calm down. Don't, yeah, no, don't can't. tell me. No, do not tell me to calm down. Just tell me you got fifty bucks for me for gas, and I will get out your hair. What you, what you said, or you said, calm down. Please. I thought about the the scene in Ice Cube from the Stand Out of Compton. Like, calm yeah, down. <laughs> trying to get his money. No, dude, I, dude, every, like, uh, contrary to me in the ring, I don't like to yell. I really don't. I try to keep a oh, very yeah. calm voice, which is probably terrible. Cause it's just like my face, my facial mm-hmm. start to show yeah. it a lot. You're the silent killer. Yeah, because yeah. you'll see like, <laughs> the worst. Because you'll see me going like, "We're good." Yeah, see the twitch. Good. That's not good. That ain't good. We're good. It's always the twitch, man. Don't look start. at then, then. Then you see him kind of. <laughs> it's like he's, too. In, he's in the rest of my life. Like, <laughs> it's okay. Just, just don't it's pay like, attention okay? to the nostrils. You okay? You okay? Like. <laughs> no, um, count to ten. But yeah, no, dude. Like that was probably that was that was probably the biggest thing for me at that time. And I was like, okay, so something I should have already known. Make sure I have uh, I have a booking fee set up already mm. before I go. Because like the one thing I don't like is like you have so much potential and so much talent on the indies where we mm. are, and there's so much great talent. It's like, dude. You, it's it's amazing how many guys you'll see, guys and girls you'll, you'll see, that you're like, how are they not, how are they not signed somewhere? Mm-hmm. And it'll a lot of times just be like content following or stuff like that, yeah, yeah. simple things like that. It's like, no, dude, I I tell a lot of people, I don't, I'll be on, and I'll be honest with you, I don't even really watch the current product of WWE right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not what I grew up on. It's not. It's not what inspired me to do what I do. I grew up on completely on Attitude Era, mm. from like ninety se- from ninety seven going into uh, going into I want to say about two thousand and eleven, two thousand and twelve. It was like my biggest eras that truly just inspired me to really think is like I could do this. I'm a big ruthless aggression this. era guy. E- exactly. Smackdown on UPN. Dude, it was everything. Mm-hmm. After half and half, you know, you might get <laughs> half and half. <yeah. laughs> so, so no, it's like for me, that's that's what inspires me. That's what that's what runs runs my passion for the mm-hmm. sport. Is those things inspire me? Those are the kind of uh, shows and matches that I love to put on. 
it's it's become a very big spot fest, and it's become very big move, just moves and moves and moves. Mm-hmm. And whereas for me, I like to invest. I like to have stories. I like I like to actually make sure everyone's feeling exactly what I'm trying to have everyone feeling, not just be like, oh, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. No, I want I want to capture a moment in some in someone during my shows. I want to capture a moment for people. Well, not only it'd be like it's cool, it's cool. It go, oh, that's cool, cool. All right, mm, cool. Yeah. So it's, it becomes like it you've be seen normal. it so yeah, much yeah, to the exactly. point that like you you forget that to make it special. Like it's just it's everything's changed a lot, and mm-hmm. and don't get me wrong, it's like keeping up with it. It's not really. Not even my my biggest thing now. It's literally it's just it's just watching it. Really, it's hard to watch yeah. sometimes, and it's like it you really it just really brings you back to what made you want to be a wrestler, what mm-hmm. inspired you to do what you want to do. You go back to you revert back to those times. And it's like that's what really keeps keeps your mental health, keeps your mind going to, yeah. to do the things you want to do and tell the kind of matches you want to do. Mm-hmm. So it's like for me, that's really big. So I didn't. Wa- okay, so look. Since, since, since <laughs> yeah. we have since we have five minutes left, because I didn't want I didn't really want to dive into the Booker thing. Oh, here we go. But no, this nice this new <laughs> I know this newer side of you. Yeah, that this newer attitude. Yeah. How has it been with you and Book on this newer side of this attitude? Oh, that's easy. Me and Book, been good. Book likes it. Book loves that attitude. He uh, he really actually just see he just sees it as like a place that I've, I'm finally stepping into more than anything. Like he like he's he's been mentoring me since since I got to Reality of Wrestling. He's been help. Uh, he's been growing to, growing everything. I don't really understand everything, uh, but like later on, usually ends up either through a match or through training or just at one at one point it just clicks. And it helps me understand a different level that I didn't understand yet. So for me, it's just, it's dope, man. It's like I, when I first came in, the first time I ever met Booker, I was, I was like fan, fanboy, and I was like, it's Booker T. And it's like, how, how you not going to be like, oh, shit. Es un rey campeón, Booker T. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> like, how how you not going to do it? It's like, especially when the guy, like we talked about it, it's like everybody who's ever trained with Booker has – their own, their like a piece of his personality. Just it's it just breaks off on you, mm-hmm. and it's like and that sticks with you. For me, it was like the first time ever, uh, the first time ever like being in his office, and he's like telling me what he's looking for. He's just like he's telling me like most people are like just give me a body slam. And this guy's going, yeah. I was like, oh, like oh, damn, what? Wait, what? 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 I'm still stuck on the fact that you're Booker T, and now I'm um, I'm getting everything like for wrestling from you. So it's like, and then it's like to hear him actually sound exactly how he sounded all oh, yeah. the days growing up, and now he is literally mentoring you and helping you and helping you Come grow, on, grow man. your yeah you grow your own stuff. It's like, yeah, it's surreal. But it's like now Booker, but Booker on like the new attitude of where it's just it's really just me not worrying about everyone else mm-hmm. and excuse me and uh to booker that's exactly it that's a big thing that was missing from my game uh so he is very much in tune and very much enjoying the growth that that i'm having now and uh and still continuing to help me grow grow in that character and in and in my own uh career in my own performance so the way I see, it, the way I see it, this is just the this is just the beginning, and there's so much more stuff that I've been that I haven't even brought out athletically and dive wise as well. This Saturday, you know, August tenth. Yes, yes, yes. There's a couple more flips I still haven't done. Mm. Don't kill yourself, man. I'm, oh, <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna kill myself. The worst that's gonna happen is you're just gonna be like, "What the hell is anybody else supposed to do now?" That's why we got ice bath, you know. Exactly. That's I'll be something. fine. I'll be fine. <sighs> I need I'll to be, be there fine. 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you got anything in before we check out? Um, since we are talking about athleticism, let's do a little like quick Q, Q&A. Oh, jeez. All right. Has no, wait, Q&A has nothing to do with athleticism. No, but like, no. Uh, like about your workouts. You, know? oh, you, you, okay. you, you, yeah. you get what I, I got. You. I got you. It'll be like this or that. Okay, I got you. 
Deadlifts or squats? Deadlifts. Mm. You ra- would you rather be jacked, lean, swole, or just huge? Jacked. Nice. All right. Better body uh, control. Okay, okay, okay. Incline uh, bench press or regular bench press? Incline. Exactly. That's why I said it. All right. <laughs> 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 like, would you rather do cardio or strength training? Strength training. Mm. Okay, okay. What is your best uh, lift? My best lift is deadlift at 600 pounds. Nice. I, I'm, it is I'm, nice. It is I, nice. I, I, I'm at 250 right now, <laughs> and I'm trying to get there with you. Man, it's a it's a journey, dude. I've been lifting since I was 14, but only, like, actually, like, seriously pursuing, always increasing my strength only since, like, I got out of football, so only for mm-hmm. the last 10 years. So, like, dude, everything is a process in life. You said 250? Nice. Huh? You said 250? Yeah, that looks good. Got to four. I got to four. 400? Yeah. That's my guy. Okay. Oh. He's out here live. See, you got okay. quips, but he got strength. Oh, but I got technique. Oh. He probably does. Let's okay. see. A- right. ask, ask the grass. Okay. Oh, shit. You're not going to like me. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but that's. I go to the 90, bro. I go to the 90. Save the knees, man. Tall guy syndrome. Oh no, I do the I do the I mean no offense. I do the Asian squat. Like I go deep in there. <laughs> Jesus, you yeah, know, my knee, my knees yeah, can't do yeah, that. I don't think bro. mine can too. Again, again, this is fine. These are fine. This is not fine. I will get a, I will give you right below right below uh right below parallel, right below 90 <laughs> yeah, yeah, the ninety yeah. with with four ninety five and that is all uh, and that is all she wrote right there on squats. I will give you that, but that's it. No, nah, it's, it's all good. Everybody nah, that's what I said. Deadlift is my is my best and most fun lift. I, it is fun because for me, deadlift is truly the one workout that helps me just disappear the world. Yeah. Like when I'm in there, it's literally like I'm in a void just in a dark room with just weights. Mm-hmm. And like that's probably the best feeling in the world for me sometimes. Beautiful. Nah, man. Oh, well, that's it for me, man. I wish I would have rolled down more, but it's all good. <laughs> hey, man. Nah, look, it's all hey, good, look, you made the time. Thank you anyway. guys for having me. No, dude. thank it's you for always, coming out. Always a pleasure, man. This mm. is always fun. Thank you. Thank you, because I know I know, <laughs> this was your only day, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Busy this, yeah. man. Busy man. I was like, I was like I'm going to sleep in. Yeah, I still get to sleep in, but I can't sleep in too much. So I was like, no, this was this is awesome. I appreciate you guys making time I for me today. You. Yeah, no like, problem, it's no it's a great honor. It's a lot of fun being here, guys. I really appreciate it. So, man, y'all know what time it is, man. Don't watch me watch Dynamite TV. And this is Kung Fu Eddie Baby representing the Big Propaganda Wrestling Podcast and talking to Eddie Baby. And we will see you next week. We got to give it to our special guest, the greatest. Reality of Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Mr. Ed Stone. Thank you, man. Thank you for no, joining thank us. You, again, thank you. Thank uh, you. Oh, next uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, we will have uh, the next episode will be with a Mr. Kevin Burnhart. Ber- my good friend and wow. buddy, Kev. Big Kev will oh, be so on yes. the podcast. Oh, that's going to be good, man. That's going to be a good <laughs> show. That's going to be good. I might ask if I can wait in the waiting room. And just watch <laughs> ask, y'all going to have some stories and questions with him. That's going to be good. Thank you. Thank you, man. So, man, you know, I already know, man, when you're down with the Big Propaganda Wrestling Podcast, you're down for, for life. life. <laughs> Appreciate you, buddy.